Hello and welcome to your first circuits course. Uh, we're going to begin today with just a little bit of in introduction to the basic concepts of circuit analysis and just look at some definitions you're going to need to know if you're going to learn how to analyze circuits. So let's begin first by talking about what a circuit is. Some basic definitions. First of all, a circuit is a system of electrical, electrical components that are connected or coupled together. So that's what we're going to be looking at as we go through this course. We're going to be looking at systems of components connected together, more than one, to make it an interesting problem, and then to see how we connect or couple those to each other to see how they work. Second set of definitions you need to know has to do with something you've probably already dealt with in other courses or in background in physics, and that is the SI unit of systems. your SI units. And if you've taken any classes in chemistry, physics, or any of the other modern sciences, you've seen these before. So what are the types of quantities and units we run across in the SI system? Well, first of all, length, which we measure in meters in the SI system. Mass, which is in kilograms. time in seconds, temperature in degrees Kelvin, so these undoubtedly you've run across before, but we're also going to add another one that's very important to this class, and that is the concept and unit of electric current. Which in this case is measured as the ampere, amps. You've probably heard that word before with electricity, volts and amps. The ampere is the unit of current. So all of our units we use in modern science and technology, all scientific units can be derived from these SI quantities, including everything we're going to be doing this semester or in this class. And as you guys are going to see, you're going to learn how some of these units are actually derived from these starting points. Our next concept or the next definition we want to look at is the concept of power or energy. or pardon me, I should say work and energy, more, more correctly. We'll talk about power a little bit later. Work and energy, as you've probably seen in your previous work in physics, are the same thing. Work and energy are both measured in joules. And a joule is, incidentally, derived directly from the SI unit, from those basic quantities. A joule is a kilogram per meter squared, pardon me, a kilogram times meter squared per second squared. And I'm certain you have seen this definition before if you've taken basic physics before. Power is the rate of work 
or the rate of energy expenditure. Once again, you have undoubtedly seen these definitions before or this definition of power. And in this class or in this course, power, which we're going to define as P, is the rate of energy per unit time. Or putting this in derivative form, it's the derivative of energy with respect to time dw dt. The unit for power is watts, which we abbreviate as a capital W. And notice for joules, we abbreviate as a capital J. Once again, you have undoubtedly seen these units before in your physics courses. But as we're going to see in circuits, we're going to be using these exact same units when we talk about how electric components work. Final thing you want to keep in mind as you learn about circuits is just as in everything, just about everything else in science and engineering today, you have to use a metric system. Which means you have to be familiar with metric prefixes. And what are those prefixes? Well, some of the most common ones you're going to see in a basic circuits course will be, for example, micro, Greek letter mu, which is equal to 10 to the minus 6, milli, small m, which is 10 to the minus 3, kilo, k, 10 to the third, and mega, which is either capital M or sometimes you'll see it just abbreviated as MEG, typed that way, which is 10 to the sixth. And of course, there are other values you'll see too, uh, pico, nano, you'll see those types of units also used in electric, in electric circuits as well. But these are the primary ones you're going to learn. And of course, if you're going to start learning how to analyze circuits, you have to learn how to use metric units, which I'm sure probably everybody is already very familiar with. So for example, we know that one joule is the same thing as 1,000 millijoules, which is the same thing as 0 0.001 kilojoules. And so we're all familiar how we can shift the values by changing the units and then simply multiplying or moving the decimal point because of those new units. So be familiar, be, be conversant with these units, and certainly as you go through and work problems and learn how to use, learn these analysis techniques, all of this will become very much second nature to you. Okay, so this is kind of our introduction. Uh, next time we're going to look at how we actually define and use what we call voltage and current.